Muting. Hey guys, this is Skylar. I am completely blind. I am autistic and I have a chronic heart condition. Now, um, today I am going to respectfully agree, or sorry, respectfully disagree with Nick B and Rafu Lee. I'm not sorry, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your channel names correctly, you two, but that's how my screen reader pronounces them, so that's how I pronounce them. Um, excuse me. So I'm respectfully disagreeing because I'm not here to put people down and bully people um, because that's just not what this social network is made for. And unfortunately, people do use it for that, but I'm not going to be one of them. So I'm going to disagree, but I'm going to do it respectfully, okay? Um, so what am I respectfully disagreeing with? Both of them mentioned how to relax during blood draws. Now, I've touched on this in the past, so I might seem like a broken record, but since I've seen those videos, I kind of want to uh, make this video especially for them and anybody out there who might be watching. So I'm just respectfully disagreeing. Now, Nick, you said to take deep breaths and that it doesn't hurt as much as you think it's going to. Sorry, brother. Um, I disagree because for me, it is very, very excruciating. It is very painful. I don't cry, but it is very painful. Okay. I dread going there. I call it the devil's chamber because I dread going, going to that place. Um... Nick, you also said to take deep breaths. I'm sorry, brother. Deep breaths do not work for me. I've tried them. I was in a yoga class when I was in elementary. You know, and I have a nurse trained mother who occasionally will say take a deep breath. It just doesn't work. I'm sorry. Deep breaths? Uh-uh. Um, now, Rafu has some, some tips that I do agree with to an extent. And I will talk about that. Rafu, you said to bring somebody with you. Okay, yes. You see, because I'm blind and I can't see, I don't have a car, obviously. And my mom, I live with my mom because she takes care of all my heart and lung conditions. And I can't see, so I can't manage my pump, which is this. You see this? I can't, I can't, um, I can't see what, what this says. And I can't mix the medication because I'm blind, so my mom does that for me. And plus, you never know when there's going to be a malfunction, so I'm pretty much one of those round-the-clock care people. Um, so my mom drives me to everything. Uh, hospitals, um, lab, MRIs, CAT scans, whatever I need, she drives me there. Okay. Um, so having mom be with you, Rafu, I definitely agree with that. As far as talking about history tests, sorry, don't agree. Now, I do agree with a, dis a distraction, um, a distraction method, I guess. See, what mom does, or what I have mom do, is I have mom say one of my favorite words right as the person is sticking in. Like, right as they're going in, I, say, I have mom say one of my favorite words. And this helps me to relax physically and emotionally. Having mom say one of my favorite words, which I have a lot of, helps me to relax. And I usually pick a word. I'll say, mom, can you say, like last last time I had her say vrai, which is the French for the word truth. Vrai is one of my favorite words because I like the VR combo. Anyways, and then also it helps to talk about the favorite word like tell what it means, what language it comes from, um, what is the origin of the word, because I'm really big on etymology and words. Uh, so talking about, about words and where they come from, what they mean, especially if they're favorite words, that's gonna be a nice distraction uh, tactic for me, Being getting into a conversation about the word and what it means. Also, I have what are called pocket distractors, and I'm going to show you an example of what that means. 
I have this. Which is a, a stuffed plush peeps. I actually have two of those. I have a chick and a rabbit. I have sorry. I have some Pez dispensers. Which yeah, here's the here they are. Now these are empty. <laughs> Um, would make really good pocket distractors because the one on the right is a gorilla and I really like the word gorilla and this one is a sheep and I like sheep because sheep remind me of Jesus. Um, one time I actually bought the gorilla, this one, Donkey Kong. I bought him with me when I went. I, I usually try to pick stuff that's small enough, not obtrusive enough so I can bring it in my pocket. And like touch it while the the draw is happening. Also, you can bring something like a stress ball or something you can squeeze, uh, and that would probably help because when I'm stressed, my hands tend to fist up like this, and it's just that's what happens. So I like to bring things that I can really get a firm gorilla grip on. Now, also, as far as relaxing, making the sound, when you make that sound, it relaxes your body. I'm not joking. So, um, one time I tried making that sound right as the person was, was sticking me, and it actually helped me to physically relax. And it also cut down on my, my nervous vertigo. Yes, I have vertigo. Um, as far as cheering yourself up afterwards, that's something that you need to do, okay? Um, I usually bring fun stickers. I usually pick a specific sticker pad that I want, and I put it in my pump case, bring it with me, and right after the draw, I will apply one, a sticker to myself. Or, I had mom order me some, some decorated band-aids, and they're actually by Band-Aid brand, and they're, they have pictures of Mickey Mouse on them. Now, um, this is kind of a, a nice thing to do because, you know, having a, a fun, decorative band-aid uh, put on your, your little needle wound there is actually going to cheer yourself up, you know. And it's good to bring your own because labs and hospitals don't really do that for adults. So, bring your own fun stickers or fun bandages or whatever, just bring your own. Now, as far as aftercare, um, oh, wait a minute, Rafu, I do agree with the use of a butterfly because I have very small veins due to my heart condition. Like, my veins are the size of those of a leprechaun or an infant. And I'm not joking. Um, so, I'll, I always have them use a pediatric butterfly and it is... It still hurts and it still bruises, but not as much as a big, huge uh, telephone pole needle would, you know? Like, I still come home with big knots on my wrist and stuff, so, yeah, it definitely is, is it still bruises and it still hurts. Also, um, afterwards, for the bruising, you could just put aloe vera on it or put an ice pack. I have some fun kid ice packs in the freezer that are shaped like a dog. They're by Therapearl, and they do the job as far as, you know, helping with the pain, the bruising, blah, 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 but they're just shaped like a dog. So, they're kind of made for kids. Um, also, when I get home, I might do a fun activity. I might drink one of my favorite drinks. I might listen to one of my favorite songs. I might play with one of my favorite toys when I get home, just to cheer myself up afterwards. I mean, you can't have enough cheering up. Really, seriously, you can't. So, definitely ditch the deep breaths. Um, 
as far as, you know, you know, Nick says that it doesn't really hurt as much as you think it does. Sorry, brother, for me, it really does hurt. So, for let's just do a recap. Again, ditch the deep breaths. Uh, ditch the history test talking. Ditch the, um, it doesn't hurt as much as you think it does. And for me, it's favorite words. Talking about favorite words. And then afterwards, fun stickers or fun bandages. And do fun stuff when you get home to cheer yourself back up. Um, also, I have mom help me with some of those fun things. Like I might have mom do fun, a fun activity with me afterwards or something like that. So, I hope that you enjoy this video. Definitely, for me, favorite words are the way to go. Um, and God bless.